Shalom everyone, this is Ty Green. During what's called Rainbow Day at school during Spirit Week, my daughter wanted to wear this Faith Like Noah t-shirt. Some of you recognize the t-shirt from the Ark Encounter in Kentucky. We had the privilege of going a few years ago and we purchased the t-shirts there. Recently, I've shared on the community page how the Ark Encounter had installed permanent rainbow lighting on the Ark as a reminder of the rain and the bow. The seven colored rainbow associated with the flood and God's promise afterwards. It has nothing to do with the pride movement. Remember that rainbow has six colors. The world is in so much confusion that when we see the rainbow, most think of gay pride first, or they only think of gay pride. I hope you're seeing this, what's happening. So on Rainbow Day during School Spirit Week, my daughter wanted to wear her Faith Like Noah t-shirt. She wanted to wear this because she understood what Rainbow Day meant. It was about inclusion for those students that identify with the alternate definition of the rainbow. These are early teens, y'all. When this happened yesterday, it brought to mind some things and I want to share those with you. Firstly, the Faith Like Noah t-shirt also includes at the bottom the words trust and obey, along with the scripture of Hebrews 11, 7, which says this, by faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. Noah trusted God, and then he moved on his word and prepared that ark. Noah obeyed the instructions of God, because the Lord was grieved in his heart, because he saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. This is why the rain came. Thank God for his bowl that came afterwards, his promise that he would not destroy the world by water again. I'm reminded that our daughter wanted to wear that Faith Like Noah t-shirt because she knew what the interpretation of Rainbow Day meant. She had been taught the real meaning of the rain and the bow from Scripture. We know it's one of the standards in children's Sunday school, and as parents, we should reinforce the teaching. It prepares them for what they are experiencing out there in the world. And I want to encourage you to teach your children about these things as well. It encourages them to make decisions based upon the word of God, right? The Bible says in Proverbs 22 and 6, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. This is another reason why we see efforts aimed at children like we have, because if they can get to them early rebelling against God, then it's harder to share truth with them later. Truth of his love, truth of his grace and mercy, and also the truth of how he responds to sin. We must tell the children about this and how Jesus died upon that cross to pay our sin debt. I want to encourage you to teach your children the truth so that they can recognize the lie when they see it. Teach them to love people, even in their sin. People can tell when you love them, but not the sin that may have them bound. They know the difference. God loved us while we were yet sinners. So if we're like Christ, I hope you're getting this. It was his love that drew us. And yet he never failed to address sin. He didn't sugarcoat it. He didn't ignore it. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 but God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us much more than being now justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him see 
we in Christ were enemies in our rebellion against God. Romans 5 verse 10. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. So do you have faith like Noah? Will you trust in God? Just like in the days of Noah, there's wickedness upon the earth that is great. Just like in the days of Noah, God gave an advanced warning of how he will respond to it. Just like in the days of Noah, God provided a way to be saved from the penalty of sin. Jesus is that way. He said it himself, John 14 and 6. Jesus says unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. Today is the day of salvation. You can be prepared to meet God right now. You must believe in your heart that Jesus died for you on that cross. For we have all sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. For we all have a sin debt that we cannot pay. The wages of sin is death, right? So we must trust in what Jesus did for us up on that cross. We must believe it with our hearts and confess it with our mouths. Jesus was buried and on the third day, God raised him up. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So just come as you are. Look at this. Titus 3, verses 3 through 7. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. All right, I will leave it right there. We must use our remaining time wisely. Amen. Live holy before the Lord. Love y'all. Shalom.